actor's man, Winkle, and he's starring in a brand new show on TNT. It's called The Last Ship. What's the storyline behind this? I assume there's one ship left. There's just one ship, and that's yeah, it. that's it. And you just float around. It's kind of like love boat. It's, it's kind of happens. It's like a little ship all around the world. No, well, but, really, no there's, there's a plot behind yeah. this that's very interesting. The world is ending. A plague has overtaken the planet. Ah. Uh, and we are on a ship that, that wasn't contaminated by the plague, so now we have to find a cure. Who's we, by the way? What are, are we, you? We're in the Navy. Oh, so okay. it's, it's upon us, the Navy, to save the world and restart a civilization. Ooh. To to repopulate the world. Sorry, are there girls on this ship? There, there, <laughs> there are. That's why I was very happy to be uh, on this TV show. Are you going to try to marry him off on the ship? Well, you have to repopulate the world, okay. you know. Come on. That all might right. be an upcoming season. So the first season is just to save the right. world oh, I see. and to stop people from dying. All right, well, let's <laughs> take a look at you guys saving the world and keeping us all here on the planet. Take a look. Okay. Sorry, man, did I wake you? The doc told me to keep my distance. The Admiral was scaring off the birds. Sure it was the dog and not your breath? <laughs> Whatever. Man, we should have been out of here days ago. Well, are you here? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? So, we were in San Diego. And, and they covered the beach with white tarps. Oh. And actually, it wasn't in the script to throw the snowball, but I wanted to be more playful, so they actually sure. brought me a barrel of snow uh, on the beach. You probably needed it to cool you said, off. It was so yeah, hot there. Was. But wait, there was no ship. I, I thought we were talking about it. There was an ice. So I get to play the Navy SEAL. Oh. So I get to do a lot of the missions off the ship. Oh, So okay. I get to do a lot of that fun action stuff, oh. like riding the, the snowmobiles and shooting the guns and having the fights. And, well, maybe your ship was stuff. saved because it was cold and so the germs couldn't permeate the cold. You know? <laughs> Go with it. Yep. Go Go with with it. it. I'm on board with that. Okay. Go ahead. Yep. And Go so ahead. now you're out to save the world. We are. Okay, but you get away from all that snow and come to something warmer? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you get to... Okay, you're a Navy SEAL? Yes, yeah, so I'm a Navy okay. SEAL, and it does. We do get away from the cold. It's okay. not freezing cold the whole time. Okay. okay. Um, what was it like? Because I've, I've had a chance to work. <laughs> I, this is giddy. If you've not seen it, this is what it looks like, right? You can look it up in the dictionary, and then you can actually see it here. Well, okay, uh, so can I ask the next question? No, because I'm, I'm afraid if you ask the next question. I, Let's go to you. I have had, and I will use the word privilege, of just working kidding. pretty so close Aww, with some you. Navy SEAL. Well, we've lost her for the rest of the show now. Um, Working pretty closely with some Navy SEALs, and they're some intense individuals. They are. Nice guys, but yep. boy, you work, do you work with them or get trained by them? The, the first request of Michael Bay was to get to know the Navy SEALs that were on set. And so, you know, we're at lunch, and I look over at the Navy SEAL table, and there's like big, burly guys, and I'm, like, totally intimidated by these dudes. And I go up and I talk to them, and it turns out that they're just so articulate, and they're these gentle men. A lot of them, one of them wants to be an actor. The other one has a, a clothing line. Um, the other one has his own brewery. Yeah. And, like, one of the uh, Navy SEALs, he actually was like, can I do a monologue for you? And he got to tears doing a monologue. Yeah. Oh, my. So these guys, like, they're just... They're amazing. They're very different than I thought they yeah. would be. They're not as hardened as I expected, and they're just... Well, isn't that Cute part of their things. training, though? So they they, they get that, <laughs> they get monologues, but that they act normal, so they don't give away really what they do because they have to yep. go in undercover and they have to be normal. What I respect right? about these guys is is they have trained so hard mentally, and physically, and it's such a mental game what they have to do because they have so much pressure and they have to basically handle any situation calm and sure. smooth. And they just, they have that in them and they have this, this inner knowing that they can kill you in 12 different ways. You wow. can just tell that by looking at them, that they're already thinking like, yep, you're dead and, and so you're, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So the, w when you trained with them, wait, you could kill me in four ways, not I 12. can kill you in three. In I three. haven't picked up all the secrets yet. <laughs> no, uh, they really, I've already thought a few ways to kill you, by the way. Did you really you. do the, yeah. You have to get through me to get to him. Well, <laughs> that won't be tough. Uh, <laughs> you should just go look over there. Oh. Um, I'm done. This is done. Right. How serious was your training with them? Like, did you have to go through some of the SEAL training itself? Uh, not too much. A lot of the training was done in my own time. So I started taking Muay Thai very seriously just to get that uh, fighter mentality. I started doing CrossFit. CrossFit was invented yeah. by the Navy SEALs. So I started just really getting into CrossFit and getting physically fit. Mm -hmm. And I did knife and stick training. It was a Filipino-based oh. training. 
So I did that all on my own. And then when we met up with the SEALs, they just would help us on set every day. They would tell us about your form, what you're thinking, how to hold your gun. And just they guided us and made everything authentic every step of the way. Like they really helped us out. You had mentioned how uh, these guys were sensitive guys in a way. I mean, that they can... One cried to Yeah, yeah. Definitely. There you go. Well, I want to flip that on you a little bit because as I look over your shoulder here, I see some images. Uh, this is of a wedding. And is that you? Uh, Are you? In that wedding overseeing the ceremony? I am an ordained minister. Wow. And what that means is that I paid $45 online. Oh, oh. <laughs> and they sent me a card that said that I'm ordained and I can hold any spiritual practice in the state of South Carolina. <gasps> That's it. I can, well, yeah. Let's all head out to South Carolina. <laughs> right. Let's go right now. Well, and you did it twice? I did. I actually married my friends in California this, uh, this last summer. Oh, that's so wonderful. Oh, yeah, it's, it's such a great experience to do because I'm so close to these these people. And, yeah. and I cried during both of them the oh. whole time because you're just watching your best friends. Sure. You know, see that. Not. Oh. Yeah. That's so it's powerful. Uh, well, let's talk a little bit about the organization and what you're so passionate about. We showed a picture All at the right. top of the show. Uh, and you're rolling up your sleeves for this. This isn't one of those things you go and give a little talk and then fly out. Build on is a nonprofit, but I, I don't like the, the phrase nonprofit, I like for purpose. Mm. Um, and what they do is they go around the world and you join, you get into a community. Where are you here? I'm in Malawi there. That's our last day. And I was staying with the Sanjeli family. And you stay with the family in their house. They get out of the rooms for you. They basically have maybe three rooms in the house. There's no electricity. And you have a space on the floor. You have your little blow-up mattress that you bring. Yeah. And you live with the families. And you, you eat and you sleep and you dance and you pray and you build with the families and with the kids that are gonna be going to the schools that we're building. So it's all about participation, but build on. And it's, uh, and it's like, no matter what, whoever you are, you're gonna go there and your heart just- Yeah, because it, build, so, it yeah. builds, it also builds you. It builds you in from the inside out. And to give Every back- Every time like that, so we give, we receive. Of course. It's, it's, yeah. That's just the, the secret of the universe. Yeah. Well, you know, good for you to, do, to yeah. go out and do that and make a difference in the world. I think, do you ever get a chance to visit them and see what the school has done? My plan is to, to go back every couple of years and just to see the progress. Because what happens with Build On is wherever they usually build a school, as the years progress, they end up building more schools because they understand the format uh, and they know how to do it. Right. And sure. it, uh, basically, the guy that started the company, he went back to a village 20 years later yeah. and there was eight schools that were yeah. built. So there was a whole right. community that would be that, yeah. That's fantastic. It's them. Yes. Yeah. It's, you empower them to yeah. do it. Exactly. We're going there to just say, we support you. Yeah. Let's get you started. Let's light the flame. Mm -hmm. And they are the ones that have to finish out building the school. And it's 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 really empowering for them to know that, that we are there to totally support. Teaching them to fish them the is tools. what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah, they're going to build exactly. from it. We'll build on. I hope you know how to build on a burger because that's what we're going to do next. Like By the way, for a burger, last ship premieres this Sunday at 9 okay, Central good, on okay. TNT. More right. on Travis on our, our Twitter page. You can drop by at Home and Family TV.